What's up, y'all? It's Darius from DariusCooks.tv, and uh, guess what we're doing? Still cooking keto, and I know it's a little chilly outside, and sometimes you need something that's gonna warm you up. Well, today, I've got exactly what you need. It's gonna be my beef and bacon chili that is so good. You're gonna want it any time of the year. So let's get started with the bacon. I've got some thick cut, center cut bacon. Doesn't matter, you can use the center cut, the end cut. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the bacon using these kitchen shears into pieces, just like this. What is that? A cup, cup and a half of bacon. I'm adding the bacon to a pot that is no heat on it yet because what will happen is that when I cut the heat on and then put the bacon, it's gonna render and release all of its good juices, right? So we'll start by putting the bacon in and I'm gonna add in some olive oil and then we'll give it a stir. All right, so now that the bacon is sort of uh, started to sweat out and cook out a little bit, so I've got some ground chuck that I'm gonna add in. About a pound goes right in here and we'll mix this up real good and we'll let that sort of cook up a little bit and brown out and then we'll start adding in all our flavor bases. Once the beef and bacon starts to get married and have a good time, we're gonna start adding in lots of flavor. So I've got some onion and celery and bell pepper that I chopped up that I'm gonna add right into here. I've also got some garlic paste that's gonna go in as well. Love this stuff, right? And then we'll give it a good stir just to make sure everything gets incorporated really nicely. So once we added in the garlic, the bell pepper, the onion, the celery, the house starts smelling amazing. Let's keep going. I've got some tomato paste. So we're gonna drop in a fair amount of tomato paste. So just mix that up. Mm. All right. And we're almost looking like chili a little bit, right? Let's keep going though. So I'm gonna start by adding a can of diced tomato right in there with the juice and everything because that's kind of what I like in the chili. We'll give that a stir. Oh, look at that. Now that's coming together. Then I've also have some crushed tomato. So a cup or so crushed tomato go right in there. All right, and then we'll give that a good stir. And this needs some liquid to help it just sort of bloom out a little bit. So I've got some beef stock in a box because that's kind of how we roll around here. All right, you can make your own beef stock if you want to, but if you don't have it, just grab one, they're on sale. All right, let's give that a stir, and then let's get on with our seasoning game because we don't have nearly enough seasoning in this chili situation happening. Let's start by adding some chili powder. So a fair amount of chili powder is gonna go in there. Ground black pepper, a couple of bay leaves are gonna go Right in there, add lots of really great flavor. Garlic powder happening. Got some onion powder happening. One key component to a really good chili is a little bit of Cajun seasoning for a little bit of heat, a little bit of flavor. Not that much. This has no salt added so far, so we're gonna put a little pinch of kosher salt in here. I need one other component to balance out the sweetness of the tomatoes and the savoriness of the dish. So I got a little bit of brown sugar substitute that I like to use. I'll throw this right in. Let's give that a stir, and I want you to see just how well this whole thing comes together. Look at that. Oh boy. So we'll knock this heat down to a simmer, let it go for about 15, 20 minutes, and when we come back, we're gonna have a fantastic chili that you're going to absolutely enjoy. All right, so I have all my accoutrement ready. My cheese, sour cream, avocado, some cilantro, some jalapeno, all the things we need. And look at what happens after about 15 minutes, right? It gets nice and thick and perfect, really. All right, so I'm gonna go in here and get me the best taste that I can. I like, the, I like to mix it all up, right? The sour cream and the bacon. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Still 
little smoke out. Come on now. Come on now. It's smoky from the bacon. The tomatoes in here are amazing. A warm hug on a cold day, you gotta give it a try. Recipes like this, you know where they're gonna be. On the website, it's dairyscooks.tv. There are two things I wanna tell you as I always do. Food is my life, life is my food. Until next time, I gotta wish you happy cooking. <laughs> From my heart uh, to yours, bye y'all.